Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to book flight tickets online Ethiopian Airlines. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, for us to book a flight in Ethiopian Airlines, we first need to go to the official website, which is going to be ethiopianairlines.com. Now from here in the main website, you have the option to start booking your flight. So in this case, by default, it's going to be in flights. Go ahead and click on flights here if it's not selected. But in this case, we now need to select our uh, from and the destination that we want. So in this case, maybe I want to say I'm from AE AES. And from here, we are going to maybe Abu Dhabi. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to choose our settings here. Now by default, it's going to be set as uh, a round way ticket. But if you want to get a one uh, round way, if you want to get a one way ticket, you just see, need to choose one way here. In this case, uh, it's going to give you the departure and return date here. In this case, go ahead and choose your date. Now what, what we need to do next is we need to determine how many are traveling. So in this case, we have one passenger. So you can indicate how many child or infant or adults is coming with you. In this case, you could also book with a miles here if you want to allow that, but in this case, we're now good. Now, by the way, if you also have a promo code, you could go and click on add promo code here to add your promo code. In this case, let's go and click on search flights. Now, this will reject you to another page, which in this case will show you the flights that is available to for your trip. Now, sometimes it's going to say all flights for routes are not available. So in this case, if that's the case, you need to change your dates. In this case, let's go ahead and change uh, the date for this one or the location. Now, once you've selected the correct dates that flight that flight actually has or the flights are available for that days, you should be able to see this UI here. Now, in this case, it's going to show you the date that you've selected. So in this case, I actually changed this to the 24th of May. In this case, this is going to be my flight to my uh, specific destination. It's also going to show me the uh, flight time here, which is going to be around 22 hours and 20 minutes and has around one stop here. Now, in this case, what you need to do is you need to choose wisely here. So in this case, make sure to weigh in the price itself as well as the travel time here. So in this case, maybe I want to use this one. Let's go ahead and click on the price itself here. Click on the drop down. Now we have two options. We have economy semi flex and echo, echo flex here. In this case, choose the appropriate one here. For example, we want to use economy semi flex. Let's go ahead and click on select. Now from here, what we need to do next is we now need to pick our return flight. So in this case, let's just wait for it to load up. In this case, it's going to be our return flight here. Now, in this case, how do we uh, select our return flight here? So in this case, what we need to do is we need to uh, basically choose the correct prices again. Again, make sure to weigh in the travel time as well as the price itself. So for example, maybe you want to choose this one. Let's go and click on it. And from here, select either Economy Semiflex or Ecoflex here. In this case, let's go and select. Now, once you've done that, it should redirect you to the next page. In this case, you will give or you will be able to see your flight details or the general idea or your uh, general flight details. In this case, you have the departure and your return dates here. Make sure that the time here is correct or the dates are correct here and the actual uh, flight itself. But once you've done that, you can go ahead and click on log in as a uh, for the checkout or just click on continue as guest. Now, what we need to do next is we need to fill out all the details that includes your name, date of birth, and your gender. Now, also, you need to provide your frequent flyer if you have those or if you have any special request. Now, once you provide all the necessary information here, it's now going to ask you to add your phone number as well as the email address for contact or communication purposes. Now, once you provide all the details, you need to select your seats. And if you have any extra baggages, you could specify it in here. And finally, you just need to proceed with the payment. Now in the payment section, you could use your card or whatever meta that is available to you in that page here. But in this case, that's how you book a flight on Ethiopian Airlines. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.